Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Friday, October the 19th, 2012. As to do each Friday, we're going to go over every major market that we track at PerfectStockAlert.com. That's going to include 19 major markets, so buckle up. We've got a lot to be uh, analyzing here. And the important part of this video is that you know everything that I know moving into the week ahead. And we have a lot to be showing you, so check it out. All right, looking at Australia's market, we have been looking at this bullish situation with a couple of handle formation. Nice advance to the upside. We were eventually stopped out, and now we've seen it continue to move higher. However, note this close here and the current closing points here. You can see that we are trending up. Well, the corresponding time period on the ultimate oscillator indicates a different story. It shows that we are actually seeing momentum decrease. This is a bearish divergence telling you, no, trust this rally. It's going to fall apart. And that makes perfect sense in the market that we're seeing right now. We've been looking at a lot of charts, uh, and we'll show you some of them today, that are actually showing a breakout to the upside. Those are starting to break down, and that makes perfect sense with the overall market's peaking, which is what we talked about yesterday in the market analysis, and we'll get to that in a minute as well. But basically, don't be trusting breakouts to the upside in this market, especially when they look like this, because this is a bearish divergence telling you that it's going to fall apart. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was an absolutely beautiful call yesterday. It said it is sell it, and that's basically what you should have been doing today. As soon as the market opened, you should have been selling. Down she goes, and guess what? You still got plenty of time to do so. This market looks like this. A move to the upside here, pull back here, move to the upside again, hitting resistance about the same level, pull back a little bit lower, move up here again, hitting roughly the same level again. This is basically a triple top, in my opinion. You could analyze it and say, no, it's a head and shoulders formation, and this is going to be where you would draw your neckline off of these two points and say, okay, well, there's your neckline. You could do that as well. Uh, I prefer the other. I prefer to say, no, it's a triple top because it looks more like that on other charts as well. And I'll try to get all my charts to confirm when that's best, the best way to do that. If you were drawing it out like this of a head and shoulders formation, this is simply what you would do. You would wait for it close below this neckline here, which is going to happen next week sometime. That would be confirming your overall head and shoulders formation and you look for this distance here measure it out mathematically and subtract it from the breakout it tells you about how low you expect to go before you get some kind of a pivot point uh, just a target but it's something to think about uh, again showing a ma massive move to the downside and I'm going to show you another way to draw that out and basically look at that. this is a triple top you can say that you have this first move here pulls back here hits it again pulls back hits it again and sells off in that case you'd simply take the lowest point this one here draw yourself a nice little horizontal line there measure this distance out again and subtract and then you get the actual distance that way it's another way of looking at it again this is just the start of a bearish move here it's a topping signal and just because you say okay well it's only gone you know down to the 200 period moving average I'm gonna hold through that it can continue to deteriorate and fall uh, lower than that as well so keep that in mind don't just hold through this correction for those of you who may have been uh, surprised by today's price activity and you're thinking to yourself, man, I've missed a great move. Actually, you haven't. This is the high point here, the all-time high uh, price, and then you get another one right here, and you can see that you're turning down, corresponding time period on the chart here. If you look at the low point here and the lower low here, you can see that you're just starting this downtrend. Actually, was in an uptrend, broke down a longer-term chart. I talked about that last week, and then you're starting to roll over here. Whenever you're in an uptrend, you look for buy opportunities at the 50 period moving average look for those to be a situation where you expect to bounce off of that whenever you're in a downtrend like you are now forming uh, you look for sell opportunities at the 50 period moving average or above it so again this is just getting started you should be looking to sell this the French CAC 40 index, there's a couple different ways to draw this one out as well, and they're all bearish in my opinion. Note the overbought condition the ultimate oscillator, that's important to note. And then again, you get the hanging man candlestick yesterday and confirmation today where you get a lower series of highs from one day to the next, as well as a lower series of lows. You can be selling this, but I would keep my stop off of this high point here for now. Uh, wait till you get to a little more uh, downside potential before you start advancing that stop. This could be drawn different ways. You could say this is a low po uh, high point here, a lower high here, a low point here, and then a lower low here. And we're looking forward to go test that again. Uh, this could be the start of a downtrend. Another way would simply be to say this is the first shoulder. This is the head formation. We'd say we started here, and then this is the second shoulder formation. Confirmation would be a break below that neckline, this little downtrend line right here. Once you close below that, you measure the distance out and say, okay, we just track that distance from we get an idea of how low we expect to fall before we get some kind of a pivot point. 
Looking now at the Milan index, the MIB, this one you could try to sell it if you wanted to. I think there's just better charts out there to sell, so this one I probably wouldn't bother with. Uh, main thing here is there's not a lot of volatility in the chart activity. You can see we're just making little moves here and there. Uh, and then we've come up here and stalled, but there's not a shooting star signal, so it's difficult to say this is the exact peak. And so it's just something I would probably pass on. If you are selling it, I'd start off with the stop way up here. The German DAX composite, this is one we talked about last week as well. You had this little formation going on, so in consolidation, expecting a breakout to the upside. You got that, and that's why you had some bullish uh, mixed signals in the market. So you had some bearish charts, you had some bullish charts that were showing breakouts, but these are going to start to break down. I'm seeing a lot of individual charts already doing that, and that's why I'm projecting that this one would also do it. Uh, so just, I wouldn't be a buyer of this, but I wouldn't sell it either because you do have the series of higher highs here. Until that starts to change, you don't want to start uh, trying to fight the trend. Gold is in a downtrend now. We've been stopped out of this, just watching this thing move to the downside here. If you look at the longer term charts, which I will put on the website this weekend, and you will be able to check them out whenever you like, uh, it shows a, a clearer picture of what's going on, and there's a lot more downside potential there. The longer term chart shows, well, let me show you real quick. Okay, this is a longer term chart in gold, two years. Each one of these counts kind of represents a single week of trading activity. You can see that you had this nice little uh, consolidation period. You broke out of that very bullish, talked about buying that when it was going on. Uh, you, you had a nice move here, and now you're pulling back. But this pullback here isn't like, oh, we've peaked for the end of the world, and now we're just going to sell out. I wouldn't be looking at that. I look at this as more consolidation, and this is basically a nice little uh, cup and handle formation forming right here. Makes a lot of sense to me to see a pullback here is fine, as long as you don't... Uh, take out this low point down here. Uh, you're just consolidating and then the next move we see later we'll talk about when it gets around to doing that and we actually start to break out of this little pattern here. But it's actually showing a bigger move to the upside later. Um, right now we're just consolidating to the downside. Let that happen but I'm not interested in trying to uh, call it a major gold peak or something of that nature. You also don't want to start buying this just yet. Looking okay, now the HSI, the Hong Kong Hang Sing Index, you can see that we have been forming a bearish divergence for a while here. You want to wait for this to roll over before you start shorting it, but I would be looking for that opportunity whenever that comes along. I'll get uh, short there again. Uh, we had this nice move to the upside here. Then we had this little pattern where we were doing this little widening formation. I didn't like that to the long side. Then we tried to go short. We had a little bit of a roll over here, and we thought maybe that was the peak, and then she broke out of that and continued to move higher. The main thing here is this move to the upside, unsustainable. Note the high point here lower high here trending down corresponding time period on the chart you can see that we have a high close here higher close here you're trending up here that's a bearish divergence tells you it's going to fall apart the India Bombay Stock Exchange, we've been out of this one for a while, a couple of weeks now, just watching it form. A couple of things you could say about it. You could say that this is starting to form a head and shoulders formation, but I don't really see a secondary shoulder here, so I really don't th think that's accurate. Uh, you could say it's moving sideways, but if all markets start to collapse, there's no way this one just moves sideways. It's going to follow the overall markets lower as well. Uh, there's different things you could look at it here. I'm just going to leave this one alone for now. I don't get a lot of uh, good signals here. Uh, if I were to take position in this next week, it would be because there was some major breakdown of something or a nice little overextension shooting star formation head and shoulders formation something of that nature then I could use that but right now I'm just going to let it pass I'm not interested in the long side in any way shape or form Looking now at the Japan iShares or the EWJ, you can see we were stopped out of this long position that we took back here, made some nice little money, got stopped out today, and you got a shooting star the day before that and confirmation the following day. It's a continuation signal to the downside. Jumping up there near the overbought condition, the 70 line, that's where you typically find your peaks on this particular chart, and that looks like a good sell signal opportunity for me. Look for a test of this low. Looking now at the London Financial Times Index, if you were long this trade because based on the fact that you broke out of this downtrend line here, this uh, resistance line, on this day, if you went long there, you advanced the stop, you should be out as of today. Your stop should have been there. That's where you were stopped out. Would I short this? No. Um, we do not go short just because we see a couple of sell signals in certain markets. We wait and time it. We want shooting star signals. It's very important to us. If we don't get that, we just don't try to get short. You can see that you have a close here and a higher close here. This is also indicating that it's still in an uptrend. has not broken down yet. Low point, higher low, higher low. Right now, let it continue to form, but I wouldn't get short until you actually have some confirmation of a break of the trend. The NASDAQ looks much better now that we're trading with the trend. Here you can see that the actual move to the downside was accurate. 
and we actually close again below the neckline here of this head and shoulders formation calling a major top here and looking for this to actually break down further uh, going a little bit below the 200 period moving average before we even consider uh, hesitation point or pivot point or something of that nature you also notice a couple different things about this chart uh, when you go in here in uptrend you look for buy opportunities at the 50 period moving average or slightly above it or uh, below it uh, then you turn around you find a situation where the markets are changing direction you move into a downtrend then you look for sell opportunities at or above the 50 period moving average so this is actually a great trade here uh, made a lot of sense yesterday and so with those of you guys who did so hey congratulations you're making money I have advanced the stop you guys know yesterday I advanced I started my stop off way up here at the previous shoulder I've simply moved it down to one cent above a couple days ago high right there at that point and simply advance it as we'll continue to move lower the XOI oil index, this one we were bullish of until today when we were actually stopped out of it and that's fine with us. You had a shooting star signal here. You'll notice this is the same level that you've seen it before here, here, here. You've got major resistance forming right here. Actually, you could be selling this right now with a looking for this to continue to move lower. Once you in a bullish uptrend, you look for buy opportunities near the 50 period moving average. Whenever that changes and you start to form that major downtrend situation, then you start looking for sell opportunities at or above the 50 period moving average. Quick look here at the UUP, the power shares, DBUS dollar index bullish find. This one is going to be kind of interesting. Look at the chart. You can see that we've just found uh, support again at the same basic level we've been finding. We've been moving sideways here. Uh, there's a little trick to this that you should know. When people sell stock, if you get a major market sell off going in the next couple of weeks, which I would expect to look for, uh, if you if you see that people are selling those stocks, they're in effect buying the dollar. They say, hey, sell my stock, give me my cash. Well, that's putting a floor in the dollar and driving the price of the dollar higher. So you could actually see this move higher over the next couple of weeks. The Russell 2000 small cap index, this is the only one we actually took a loss on with the uh, actual bounce that we were playing on the major markets in the U.S. Uh, and that's a small loss, not a big deal, but we were stopped out of it today and we're watching this guy now breaking down. This was a very bullish chart formation. If you look at the longer term picture, you can see that it's uh, not as uh, um, amazing to see a breakdown here because of your double tops or triple tops, how you want to look at it. And then again, with this situation, it was as much like the other charts we talked about that were showing very bullish conditions. You had a nice cup and handle formation break out of that consolidation period to the downside here. It was temporary before you get a break to the upside. So we kept trying to play this break to the upside, it never materialized. And now we're seeing shooting star here, high point, lower high here. Also, you can use this one as well. And you can see that we're starting to get lower lows, lower highs. This is now starting to form into a downtrend. These support Ports here or that were previous resistance lines are going to start breaking down. What does that mean to you if you're out there trading individual companies, maybe small caps or something of that nature? It means if you're trading them on the long side, expect them to start breaking down. Quick look here at the SPX, or the S&P 500 large cap index. This one we talked about yesterday, told you that you wanted to start legging into the short position and take a couple positions and wait and see if the market confirmed it. And if it did, then start adding more. So this is the one that we'd be adding again. We talked about this yesterday as well. Uh, we, we like this for multiple reasons. Number one, you've got the same bearish condition. You've got the triple top formation here. And you'll notice that you've now rolled over as of today. And you'll notice where you're at. You're at the 50 period moving average. That's where you want to be doing your selling if you're starting to break from an uptrend into a downtrend, which we believe we are seeing. Longer term charts confirm that. And so this is actually a great selling opportunity for Monday. Look for this to fall apart. Silver is basically a photocopy chart of gold. Not going to go all into it. Everything I said about gold, just say ditto for silver, okay? The Toronto Stock Exchange, or the TSX, is another great short opportunity, in my opinion. The ultimate oscillator up above the 70 line there. We like that. It's a 72. It's where you find your overbought conditions. You start expecting to see uh, major pullbacks. That would make a lot of sense at this particular point in time. Also, overall chart formation confirming what we're seeing on many other charts here. Triple top formation here, here, and here. And then we're rolling over. Shooting star signal here. Shooting star signal. That's the only one we got there. And so that's important to note. I wonder if I'm looking at this as a short opportunity. I would look at this as a short here with a stop off of this high over here though that's the only difference that typically I would set a tire stop but in this case I would set it like that uh, and also again with triple top you simply measure out the distance all right well this is the actual distance between these two points the support and resistance I subtract that from the breakout and that gives me an idea of how low I expect price to go before we get some kind of a bounce and so that's important to note also if you're going from the 
idea that you were in a bullish uptrend, that means you'd be looking for buy signals at the 50-day moving average or below it. And then once you change that, you'd say, I'd be looking for sell signals at or above the 50-period moving average. And you're well above the 50-period moving average. It's a great idea. The VIX or the volatility index runs the inverse of the S&P 500. So whenever we're looking at the S&P 500 as being bullish, then we would expect the VIX to be bearish and vice versa. Uh, in this particular case, the VIX is con simply uh, actually um, confirming what we're talking about on the uh, S&P 500. We were looking at a little consolidation period right in here for a while. Uh, didn't really know which direction she was going to break. She was just tightening up in this trade and then she breaks to the upside. Uh, and that's a great move here. This actually closes higher than we'd seen before. So the bullish uptrend here in the VIX spells trouble for the S&P 500 which indicates that the S&P 500 should be in a bearish uh, downtrend which makes sense because we just pointed that out. And so we, I like this. It confirms everything that we're looking for and that's very important whenever you're trading this for confirmation. The EMW, the Wilshire 4500, this one actually was much like uh, many of the other charts you may be seeing out there. You see a breakout above this downtrend line and it starts to look all bullish and then she just fails and starts to roll back over and no, notice the move to the downside much faster than the move to the upside here. The overall trend is down and your bullish charts are going to start breaking down. So you should be looking for uh, sell opportunities, um, taking profits, whatever you do to protect yourself in a downtrending market because this market's got no strength to the upside and lots of power to the downside. If you've not been to the free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free and all we ask in return, please refer a friend. Also, I want you to enjoy your weekend. Seriously, enjoy this one. You didn't enjoy the last one. Enjoy this one. This is an awesome one. I mean, it's, just, it's better than the last one. I don't know why, but just enjoy it. Be safe. God bless. See you the next one. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.